Hello and welcome to Good Clean Gaming. I'm your host, Jalindo, and today we're playing more Galactic Civilizations 3. And as you can see from the world map, we are closing in on a victory. Should not be long now, I don't think. We'll see. Idle Colony, uh, get rid of this, get rid of that, and go straight. Free markets. Iridium store, free market, free market, free market. Idle ship over here, go there. Idle colony here. Destroy, 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 destroy. And more free markets. Okay, turn. Shaw, I'm, I'm actually surprised how, how um, much the Iconians are hanging on. I mean, they're in, they've been well inside our area for a long time, but they're maintaining a low rebellion, so they're, they're going to be harder to flip. But despite that, we're still going to own all the galaxy if we keep, up, uh, keep it up at this rate, which means we're going to be able to um, win whether they flip or not. More constructors for our star bases. Let's make sure all of our star bases are requesting modules. 10, 0, 0. Yeah, let's request more for these. For the Death Stars, apparently. Request more for this one. We've got about that guy. There we go. All of them are requesting 10 now, at least. Or more. Now we should just be able to ignore everyone. Hopefully uh, all these shipyards will be done building defensive ships. Oh, uh, next two more. Starting to really um, snowball. Interstellar partnership. A former, a formal alliance is a curious idea. Tying our fortunes to that of an alien business seems an unusually risky move, but in a galaxy filled with high-risk security threats, solidifying our relationships with a friend may have some value. Okay. So think tanks. We'll go with that. Uh, here we need to build more free markets. I don't, I, I don't see any reason to build anything but free markets while it's working this powerfully. Idle colony, same thing here. Da 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 da. da. Radium store, free markets, idle ships. Um, you're going to go somewhere, right? I'm just going to click pass. And you're going to actually go to a star base, right? Or are you just going to sit there? Huh, you're just going to sit there. Well, that's weird of you. Fine, I'll send you to a star base. Uh, okay, more marketing, I think, would be appropriate here. So how about one here, one here, and then one here. Uh, I think the problem is where we have our, um, must be that we have a rally point on our star base. Can we just cancel the yeah cancel the rally point trade offer? Mm, yeah, sure. You're poor, right? Oh, you are poor. I kind of like you being poor. No, we're not giving you money. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. Seven percent more diplomacy says we are number one in everything but approval. Dragon have fallen off. So have Iconians. No one stands a chance. It's all over. It's all over for you guys. Iconian doesn't have any territory to themselves anymore. Uh, the Thalans are pretty much backed up into a corner here. The Kren are backed up into this little system here. The Altarians are basically gone. They got two systems that are well inside my territory. Where's their home? 5% rebellion at their home base. Idle colony. Let's make this. Uh, 
I guess we're going to do a uh, cultural festival. Same thing for you, cultural festival. Can't do a cultural festival. Yeah, we can. Okay. Idle ship. Set the rally point to nothing. And then send them over to this star base. Idle ship here. Rally point set to nothing. And send them to this star base. This request constructor thing doesn't seem to be working the way I expected it to. And next, another one. Man, 6%. Winning. Upgrade. Idle colony. Idle colony. Um, what are we going to build? I know. Free markets. Just keep pushing those lines back and we're, we're, we'll close in on a victory very quickly. There's another one. Got another one flipped. Thalens are on their last legs now. They have nothing left. Okay. Iridium and free market. We have way too many credits again. All right. Um, I wish I could just quick push a button, like on the colony screen. I wish I could just quickly, you know, buy it all. You know what I mean? In fact, hey, let's do that. I didn't even think about this. Govern. This is money. This is research. This is production. Now, if production. Production leads to. Yeah, let's go all production. And that'll lead to even more culture, I think. This is an interesting idea. Will this give me even more culture than um, than it would in the middle? I wish there was a way I could tell. Oh, yeah, this will tell me. Galactic Showcase. Okay, apparently there's no way to... Um, there's no way to get additional influence through spending, it looks like. So do I want to go all research or all construction? All construction. We could have it all be social construction, too, if we wanted to. Yeah, let's do that. This will probably crush the uh, last bit of resistance, I think. Anything else I need to make? Practical fusion, manufacturing focus. Sure. Idle colony. Um, okay. Idle colony here. Make some more of these free markets and buy one of them. Idle ship. Idle ship. We're just going to send them somewhere. Still have 9,000 9, credits. We have a, a next another planet. Let's see. Everything's going to be built in two turns. There's no reason for me to buy any of it if it's t it only takes two turns. Upgrade Starbase. Idle Colony. Uh, da da da. You know, at the very beginning of this game, I felt like it was. Everything was feeling very balanced, and now I feel like um, um, influence is still bugged, and they probably need to. F they're probably going to fix that. I'm sure they'll fix that before they release. Um, but yeah, I definitely feel like it's a little unbalanced. 
for influence. And that's, you know, like I said, that's part of, of beta is that things aren't going to be perfect. So you can't really expect it to be perfect. It gets there when it gets there. Okay, upgrade Starbase. Done. Upgrade Starbase. Done. We're basically encircled the Yor with our own influence. First and everything except approval. Victory is 4% away. Upgrade Starbase again. So many star bases to upgrade. Idle turn, idle uh, colony. Excuse me. We can go for cultural stimulus again. We're gonna turn all our planets over to cultural stimulus. Anything that's not doing cultural, because that apparently is the pa uh, pathway to win right now. Cultural, cultural, this one should be cultural, 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 free market, cultural for sure, I feel like we're like in the very last push to, to win the game now. Another, oh, we just need to destroy these buildings, or at least one of those buildings. Free market, and then cultural at the end of that. Uh, that's good enough. Oh, we have some economic stimuluses. We can flip those to cultural. Flip this one. And flip this one. And economic stimulus, we can flip that one. Okay. Anything else? I think that's pretty much the most important. Okay, we're good. Turn. Let's see if these lines start crushing down on the Karin. Or on the Yor. Oh, Yor is surrounded completely up here. Yep. You can see it, it completely attached in the back here. We should be really close. Very rapidly going for the victory. 4% more. We're at 90% to the victory. Idle colony. Basic factories there. And then cultural festival at the end. Another idle colony, same deal. So, build this one, build this one, cancel that one, that one goes there, this one goes here, there. Idle colony, more markets. Idle colony here, more terraforming. I feel like I got a working strategy here, at least in this version of the game. Upgrade Starbase is next. You see those borders shrinking down every turn. Three percent left. It might happen this episode. Yeah, let's go ahead and go with the cultural festival there. Cultural festival here. 
all these are, are getting completed on what they were working on. And next, another one. Victory condition. 2% left. It's going to happen this episode. Amazing. Cultural festival there. Um, I don't know what these are, but we're going to get rid of them. Intimidation center. We can't destroy that. Gives us five malevolent points. Oh, because it gives malevolent points. Once you gain them, you can't ungain them, and so they block you from destroying it. Huh. Okay. Iridium and free markets. I'm glad they figured out how to balance that. I don't know that they had that, you know, had it like that in the last version or not. I wish I could zoom out even further to see how big our... We can't even get our entire empire on the same screen anymore. You have to skim around. Dringan Empire annexed. Dringan Empire annexed. I think that should do it. Yeah, we just annexed uh, these two up here. Is that did that did that do it? Two percent still, not yet. Cultural festival there. Um, build those terraforming. Idle colony. More terraforming. We're almost there. Oop. Oh, whoops. So many idle colonies. So little time. Let's see. How about free markets? Idle colony. Wish I could just batch do all of these at the same time. I love how each race has has their not only flavor text but also flavor art for all their buildings. Uh, not all their buildings, a lot of their buildings. Getting close. Am I gonna make it by the end of this episode? I don't know. It's getting getting close to the end of the episode, too. Uh, we are 2% away. Let's zoom in to make this turn go a little faster. We can watch what's going on up here. Uh, next, New Iconia. So, did we just annex their... Um, I think we just annexed one of their home, home worlds. Yeah, New Iconia. That's their home world, isn't it? Azrael's Throne... The lag's getting so bad for everything that's going on. I can't actually focus on anything. That looks like their home. Civilization capital. Yep, that's... We just flipped their... Their capital. The Iconians are done. Terraforming. Gonna do that there. This there. And then this one can go there. This one is more free markets. And then a cultural festival. This one is more free markets. And then a cultural festival. This one is, guess what? More free markets. And a cultural festival. And I have no idea what this one is. Oh, yes, I do. I'm not even going to say it. You know what it is. Didn't want to put that there. Wanted to put it down here. Idle Colony. I don't even know if we should even bother. We're so close to winning. And this is going to put us over time, isn't it? Uh, it's fine. We're so close to winning. I'm going to keep going. I don't even know what I'm destroying anymore. I'm trying to hurry. Because I'm trying to beat the clock. Um, yeah, this planet's kind of worthless.
connects another one and another one. Zero percent. You must still gain zero percent. Okay, nine more turns. So we're just going to start flipping the turns. Because nobody's going to take away our um, stuff. It's going to be all cultural festivities and ignoring anything else. And just we're going to go turn after turn and win this game. Everyone gets a cultural festival. And I mean everyone. Humans can't do anything to stop us. Um, the Iconians are absorbed. So are the Thalans. They're all the way in outside our territory. Altarians are done for as well. Kren are just barely hanging on to their area. And it's shrinking fast. Same thing. You're surrounded. The, the Dringen are surrounded. Nobody can, nobody can stop me now. More cultural festivals for everyone. Let's watch this shrink real quick. See how big it is? It's going to get smaller. Oh, there it goes. It disappeared. Game over for you guys. Cultural festival. Cultural festival. Another one. Cultural festival. So, here's where the Yor are. We can take a look at their circle. Watch it shrink. Yep, there it goes a little bit. Kren just got absorbed some more. Conquest victory. Influence victory is coming. Six more turns. Let's watch the Dringen circle. Ah, uh, come on. Just have everyone do a cultural festival. Doesn't matter anymore. Da, 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 da. Declare war on the Altarian resistance? No way. I'm going to win this game without fighting. It's going to be awesome. Idle colony. Cultural festival. Turn. I'm expecting this to shrink. Yep. Just shrinking in. Much longer. Four more turns. Anyone else left? Even the Terrans are... I mean, the Terrans are right at the edge of the map. Farthest away from any of my planets than anyone else. And even they're shrinking down. Probably two more turns, and we'll have it. Ninety-eight percent. Three more turns, it says. Cran is gone. Yours disappearing. Terrans are getting pushed back. Oh, there's the UP. Let's have a approval bonus because that'll make our culture go even faster. It'll be funny. Yes, and we win. A lot of people voted B, but nobody could outvote me. Now, is the UP victory in yet? United Planets victory is not in yet. So we can't we can't get the United Planets victory, but we can get the Influence victory. There's another one. And congratulations, you have won an Influence victory. We did it! We finally did it. Let's take a look at our, um, at our stuff here. Got a 100% influence victory. We got a 90% on the uh, Conquest victory. We actually destroyed a couple of major civilizations just by influence. 43% to the technology victory. We didn't really mess with the ascension victory or the diplomatic victory. That would be alliances and capturing those aura points. Um, can't really see the trade. 
we pretty much absorbed all the people we were trading with, so we don't have any trade routes, many trade routes left. Uh, colonies were mostly happy. Our top uh, top research was. Oh, we 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 messed up our. Hold on. Let's at least see what that would have been normally. I go on right around here. And that means that our highest production um, planet was Tinasar. The highest income planet was Callahan. You can see those tooltips. You can actually check out, see what influenced those uh, those numbers if you'd like to, you know, do some theory crafting. And this was the highest one on uh, total manufacturing was uh, our home world of Viridia. And we just really focused on tons and tons and tons of factories on that one. Um, highest approval was 100. We had lowest was 34 probably because we just, just flipped to them from another um, empire. Highest uh, influence was that Peridius place. That really what pushed the uh, Altarians off their off their mark. Highest population was on Callahan. I gotta see this Callahan planet. It sounds awesome. It's a sixteen. Wow. Let's let's take a look at this. Wow. That was the that's the biggest planet we had in the whole galaxy. We already saw trade. Uh, technology. We didn't even really get through the technology tree. We're, we're in the age of war when the game ended. Um, we got most, uh, a lot of the way through this, but you know, we still got half the tree left on most of the, most of the types. Ideology. We didn't even get to the end of our uh, traders' ideology path that we wanted to. Uh, surprisingly, wasn't wasn't as helpful as I thought it would be. So. Uh, I don't know if I'll do that. And I, pro I definitely won't go for this arbitration center again. I think that was a waste of points. I think I'd focus down one path and one path only. If I had to do it over again. Diplomacy. We finished first in everything but approval. Uh, we were double the next empire, which was the Dringen. Um, even absorbed a couple of the empires in completely into us. Um, majors. Miners. The strongest minor faction was the Lantern, probably because we were trading with them, and the Galax, probably because we were trading with them. So, you know, surprising. Yeah, that was fun. I had a lot of fun with that. Um, all right, so I guess pff, seems appropriate to end it here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys watching uh, every episode because I'm sure you guys did, right? Right, right, big thumbs up. Um, so feel free to click that subscribe button if you'd like to be alerted to future videos. Thank you for watching again. And remember, keep it clean.